Hello and welcome from the Cayman Islands on my vacation. Uh, <clears throat> this week for my brand, I decided to go with Under Armour. As you can see, I am a fanboy. I love Under Armour. Uh, the first reason why I like Under Armour is kind of a selfish reason, um, but it's because my little brother actually used to work for Under Armour, uh, so we got 50% off everything. You know, the discount worked on everything, basketball shoes, shorts, uh, t-shirts. Uh, I actually just bought some new snowboarding gear, uh, and it was on clearance, and I got 50% off on top of that. So that's one of the main reasons. Uh, it's kind of a selfish reason. Uh, the other reasons, you know, um, you know, because my brother worked there and he was able to go up and see a lot of their manufacturing sites and their, and their distribution centers and he was able to meet Kevin Plank and the COO and the VP of sales. You know, he was given the opportunity to be into, uh, to go into a lot of unique environments and see Under Armour being made like their shoe factory. Uh, so, you know, Under Armour from, from his point of view and from, and from me, my point of view from wearing it, you know, I can see that Under Armour is very focused on quality. That's one of their biggest things. Uh, another reason why I, I like Under Armour is their shoe department is, is top notch. Uh, you know, anywhere from my running shoes, from the Apollo series, to my training shoes, uh, to my new Steph Curry basketball shoes, uh, and even their, uh, their new loafer shoes that are kind of competing with Vans, uh, in that area. You know, I love every single sh pair of shoes that I have from Under Armour, and, uh, I mean, they meet all the needs from sports to leisure, and I, I mean, I, I probably have about 15 pairs of shoes, uh, because of the discount, because I love them, and it's just like, you know, they're for for great quality and the price that I get because of the discount, you know, why wouldn't I buy it? Uh, and then another reason is that Under Armour's signed uh, a lot of the top athletes, and that kind of moves me into my next point that, you know, why Under Armour? Um, you know, Under Armour has, in my opinion, a top-tier product, and so I think that they they have the same mindset in their marketing um, and their and their brand management when they go after the top-tier athletes like Steph Curry. You know, the Steph Curry shoes came out, and they were sold out within an hour. You know, all you had were, like, sizes 15 and 16 that were left over, and it was months before anyone could even get anything. And uh, and so I think that's that's a big reason how and why Under Armour's been able to take up a huge share of the market. Uh, over their competitors from Nike, Adidas, uh, you know, Reebok, Starter, if you can, I guess, call Starter uh, a competitor. Um, but, you know, I've been an Under Armour fanboy, you know, for a while. Um, like I said, I only wear Under Armour from my polos, like what I'm wearing right now, uh, to my shirts, my, my shoes, my shorts. Um, whether they're running shoes, training shoes, casual shoes, basketball shoes, uh, even my underwear and socks. I mean, everything's Under Armour. Even my hat and my my sunglasses, it's all Under Armour. And, uh, you know, I don't care that I'm a fanboy of Under Armour because it's a great product and, you know, they know what they're doing. And, and I think it's evident in their revenue. And I, I've seen them grow over the last couple couple years. It's uh, about a 20% year-over-year increase in revenue. And they're slowly taking up the market away from Nike and Adidas and Reebok and... Yeah, I think it it says a lot, you know, in, in their marketing scheme. You know, Under Armour first came on the scene with the We Must Protect This House uh, slogan in the uh, football commercials. You know, Kevin Plank was selling um, Under Armour t-shirts out, out of his truck when he was first starting the company. And he was selling it based on the product's going to keep you cool and it's going to wake up all your sweat. And it's, you know, your, your clothes aren't going to get worn under your football pads. And, you know, you're going to be able to breathe with them on. And uh, you're going to be able to to push out the sun and keep your body cool while you're playing and exerting all your energy. And, uh, you know, the the brand just grew because people started seeing how great it was. And uh, from there, you know, they moved into other other sports. And I, I, think, I think the big thing, like I said, is that Under Armour goes for top-tier talent. And they do that uh, because young kids look up to these stars. They, they want to be like them, and in return, they want to dress like them. So they're going to buy the product that these guys are signed with. And so I think that's why Under Armour is really taking the market and why they've uh, surpassed, or they're starting to surpass Nike and Adidas and all these other companies. Um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't think it, it would be an outrageous statement to say probably in the next 10 to 15 years, Under Armour might own the majority of the market. Like, they're going to be number one over Nike, even though they haven't been around as long. Uh, they're starting to branch out into more sports, and they're starting to get better and better talent signed with them, like Cam Newton, Steph Curry, uh, are two of the, the athletes that they've recently signed. And, and you can see a spike in sales because of these athletes and because of the dedication they have to their product and, and who they sign. So that's it for me on vacation. Uh, I hope I'm not late for my discussion questions next week. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can, so thank you for listening.